welcome to Friday's bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where as usual on Fridays, I'm going to be taking a crack at the day's cryptic crossword from the Times. Uh, now this puzzle, as usual on Fridays, has a whopping high snitch rating, which means it's very difficult. Um, let's in fact, let's have a look at the stats for the puzzle and see if we can see anything interesting. I do this occasionally, uh, just to sort of let you guys know. Uh, these, these first few entries here are bogus in the sense that they have been statistically shown to be um, so-called neutrinos by the snitch technology um, that monitors the difficulty of the puzzle and compares the times achieved by the neutrinos with real known times. And what you find with the neutrinos are that they, there's no difference in how quickly they type in the answers, uh, no matter how hard the puzzle is, which is a bit a bit strange if that happens over a long period of time you would expect difficult puzzles to take longer uh, but they never do um, so uh, the first uh, I think I think Marx told me Pontius is a neutrino Andy Fisher is definitely not a neutrino so seven minutes eight is the first time I'm confident in telling you is a real time there Jason James is definitely real Mr Chris is real um, GL Heard is real so so basically seven minutes is the is the very best time which is which is quite a long time uh, normally you would get you know one of the really really speedy solvers would be in with sort of I don't know a five minute ish time as Tom Stubbs there is always the name I look for um, you know Tom and I, I I I sort of think of us as roughly equivalent level and it's taken him 14 minutes so um, yeah so so that's that's well, we won't do that today because we're going to be talking through it but it's clearly a pretty hard puzzle um and uh yeah now we're going to have a go oh in fact look matthew marcus there with 931 i think matthew marcus's average time for the times is just a shade over six minutes so that gives you an idea a absolutely phenomenal solver there taking um taking quite a while anyway that's enough guff from me uh, let's have a go at the puzzle. Oh, by the way, Mark asked me to mention, um, which is because this is probably the video that it, it's most relevant for. Over on Patreon, every month, Mark does battle with, um, let me show you, the Times Club Monthly Special. Um, I, I don't know, actually. I don't even know where to find it, but it's somewhere on this website. I think it probably is in, sp oh, maybe it's just in cryptic somewhere then. Maybe, maybe if I show more here it will tell me can we see the times club monthly special no okay i can't find it i, I, sh I shouldn't i shouldn't try and do this in the video but anyway mark has a go at that without a dictionary it is phenomenal phenomenal to watch um so i'll try and remember to put a link on the screen if you're interested in watching um the best cryptic crossword solver there has ever been do battle with an absolutely fiendish puzzle it's it really is uh if you're interested in in hard crossword solving i i find it fascinating to watch every month i always watch it so um yeah that gives you an idea hopefully of, well maybe it just tells you i'm a nerd anyway let's get cracking with this um one across it's surprising empty cage is put back for parrot mm, okay well i think Hmm, I was, I think this is going to mean parrot. Is that, I'm wondering if this, there is some, oh no, actually, no, I was, I, I was trying, I'm trying to think of um, an exclamation for it's surprising, like, ah, <laughs> oh, um, and then empty cage, I'm thinking we need to empty out the word cage. Uh, which would give us a C and an E, but then we need to seem to, we seem to have to put all this back, don't we? We have to reverse it, uh, and that's going to give us a word which means parrot, which I doubt is going to mean a parrot in terms of a bird. I think it would mean to parrot as in to copy. Hmm, I don't know. I haven't got a clue what that is. It's annoying because I feel like I feel like I've almost understood how that works. Should we should we have risk two down? change husband embracing cambridge university artisan um well done to my uh my friend ewan's son aiden who did get into cambridge yesterday the same college that i went to and his mum went to many moons ago um change husband embracing cambridge university it's probably cu for cambridge university 
And so it's probably the name of an artisan, which could be a lot of things, and I don't know what it what it's going to be. So, right, three down. These show many faces. Versatile English actor had. Okay, well that's going to be an anagram. Uh, so again, well, when you're sort of reading these clues, always be be aware of the enumeration of the clue. We need nine letters here. And just have it in the back of your mind. Can I create nine letters from any of the fodder that's in the clue? And here, English, I know, can be abbreviated to E. Oh, now today, because I'm back on my normal computer, I'm going to have access to... Um, uh, the dictionary, which is going to be useful. So E, there we go, E there for English. So E actor had is going to be the anagram fodder because they, those letters are treated in a versatile way, which means they're changeable. Um, and these show many faces. Um, it's going to be some sort of, oh, I, was, I thought it was going to be like a tetrahedra. Oh, it's, oh, it is, it's going to be a hedra, isn't it? It's a hedra of some sort. Octahedra. There we go. Octahedra. I was trying to put on at the end of it. I was like, where's the N? Um, oh, what's this then? It's surprising. Oh, is it? Oh, parrot. If you parrot something, you echo it. Gosh. I almost, I think I, didn't I say, uh, maybe I said R rather than O. It's surprising. O, O, H. Empty cage, CE, reverse it all, we get echo. That was easy and that was just a poor solve, but I, you have to forgive me. I'm only just back from my holiday, so my brain will be not up to speed yet. Let's try this one, 14 across. Perhaps took horse, which is periodically unsteady. Um, perhaps took horse. Oh, I see. Right, okay. So here we need to know a different meaning of the word horse to the classic one, which is the sort of the the the, the tetraped or tetrapod, the animal, the stallion. No, this is not talking about horse like that. This is talking about heroin, I think. And if you take heroin, you use. Um, so it's used is the answer. And we can find this answer periodically within the word unsteady, i.e. if we take regularly occurring letters letters that occur at a regular period within the word unsteady look we take the u we take the odd numbered letters u s e d we get used which is clearly uh, to to take a drug now four let's try four across this this really would open up the puzzle wouldn't it bird area in outdoor space it could be my job to protect it game warden I like Game Warden. That, that, I mean, I mean that that is exactly. You know, a Game Warden would try and uh, protect game, and game could include game could include a bird, couldn't it? Right. So how does this work? Area in outdoor outdoor space is garden. Okay. So a bird area. Hmm. Mew for bird. Oh, it's not a word. Bird doesn't. Mew. Mew is like a, no a noise a cat makes, isn't it? Bird area in outdoor, outdoor space. That must be garden. Obviously, we can split the garden up in different ways. We have the GA on the left, or the G, and then this A. But bird area... You see, I'm thinking Mew. If if Mew was the name of a bird, and bird or bird can mean other things. I mean, bird can be prison time. But I mean, I just don't know Mew as a bird's name. But let's say Mew was a bird's name. Then A can be area, and we'd have gut. So we'd have Mew A in garden, and a game warden's job would be to protect a bird area in an outdoor space. Let's try and see if we can justify four down with G novelist clo close to I mean the, the constructor wants us to read this as close to Faulkner but I always would see that and read it as close to Faulkner i.e. the closing letter of the word Faulkner nothing to do um, with the novelist so so close to Faulkner will be R now I um, novelist Graham Greene 
Eco. Ah, oh, it is. Yeah, that's very clever. I like that very much. Okay, so the novelist is Graham Greene. The close to Faulkner is the R. And Eco is... <laughs> Well, Eco, I'm saying it correctly to understand the clue, but of course, Umberto Eco was an author. So the, 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 the constructor is trying to make us think about authors, you know, Faulkner and Eco, what's going on. But if we read Eco as Eco, then obviously if you're greener than somebody else, you'd be more eco-friendly. Um, so that's that's lovely. That's lovely. Now, now this seems to support Game Warden as well. So five down. I won't check Mew, by the way. The, by the way until the end of the puzzle because um i don't know for sure that uh, what it means so it'd be cheating if i look up mew and it's not a bird then i've learned something i didn't know before which i shouldn't do before i submit the answer the setters raised anxiety living with heartless larry is that a word larry i've well, that's a word I don't know. Larry Innkeeper. I mean, Heartless Larry might be just an L-Y. So we might be looking for the name of an, an innkeeper here. So it's probably a literary innkeeper. And I bet it's from Dickens. <laughs> the Setters. That's going to be me, probably. Because the constructor is writing that about themselves so me raised anxiety mistress oh i'm so, so okay if, if the setter was referring to themselves they might say i'm doing this i'm doing that if we raise that we've got mi mistress quickly i've heard of living if you're living you're quick yeah oh my, my cue didn't work then um okay mistress quickly i've heard of mistress Qu quickly do not ask me uh which novel that is from but i have heard of them um and so and i can justify absolutely by reference to the clue so we've got i'm raised with anxiety stress if you're living you're quick with heartless larry ly and an innkeeper mistress quickly so i'll put the <laughs> let's have a look at it Resentment inspiring worries, which is kind of novel. Picaresque? I've heard that in the context of a novel. Uh, let me, I'm, I have no idea what it means. I think it means like uh, swash, swashbuckling, but I might be wrong. Um, resentment is peak, P-I-Q-U-E. Inspiring worries, cares. Okay, so picaresque is good there, isn't it? Let's, in fact, and I'm not changing that answer. Um, so I am prepared to look it up if I'm not going to change it, just so that I don't forget at the end um, to justify it. Picaresque, here we go. Relating, oh, relating to episodic adventures of a likeable rogue or vagabond. Uh, it seems to be in somehow relation, related to Picaroon as well which is about pirates. And I said swashbuckling, didn't I? Um, so I pick a rest anyway, there we go. Um, let's see if we can keep going with our game warden. Six down, producer of 80s pop covers is abroad in club. Producer of 80s pop covers. Producers, producer of 80s pop covers is abroad in club or oh, if you're in the club you are pregnant so could this be something like with covers is is abroad i wonder if that's a, a reference to for example you know the french or the german word for is EST or IST. I don't know. Let's try nine across. Great model poses. I'm thinking that's an. Oh no, it's not. I was thinking that might be an anagram of great model. Um, which, if, if, they, if they were being posed, those letters, they would be being arranged, wouldn't they? Poses are new. It must be an anagram of something. Oh, model poses are new with hot coat from Armani. Well, the coat from the word Armani is going to be the A and the I. A sort of coating letters. So I wonder if this could be an anagram of model 
the word hot, H-O-T, and A-I. And it means great. No, there's no S in that, is there? Oh, maybe, all right, let's try a different approach. Let's say it's poses with hot and AI, and it means great model. A great model, what on earth does that? A great model is a, hmm, I'm not seeing it. Uh, I don't know. Let's try 11 across. Uh, one female bird. Female bird is a hen. <laughs> we can put a hen in there probably. Or another protecting a male. Pea hen, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think that is going to be pea hen. There's a lot of, a lot of pens and hens going on there, isn't there? So a pea hen is the female of a peacock. Um, so I think this, but a pen is a female swan, isn't it? I think a male swan is a cob. So I think we've got pen, which is the other, another female bird. So one, one female bird is the definition, peahen. And then we need another female bird, which is a pen, protecting a, that's that a, and a word for a male, he is a male. Um, so peahen. Is going to be right there. Now, this was the artisan, wasn't it? Change. Husband. Something Smith is the answer here. Uh, uh, for a name of an artisan. Uh, and the way I got that, by the way, is I thought husband. I know husband can be H. Um, so I was thinking about putting an H at the end. Because I could see that we had change, husband, embracing. Cambridge University. So an artisan. I keep thinking of Cheese Smith. I don't know why I'm thinking of Cheese Smith. Probably because I like Monty Python so much. Um, and there, there are no Cheese Smiths in Monty Python, but there probably should have been. And of course, Blessed are the Cheesemongers is uh, is always close to the forefront of my brain. Um, copper Smith. That would work. Change. Yes. Okay. If you've, if you've got some spare coppers, you might say to somebody you're referring, have you got any spare pennies? So copper for change, H uh, for husband, embracing Cambridge. Oh, Cambridge University. Okay, no, coppers. Coppers are the change. H for husband, embracing Cambridge University. It's not, it's nothing to do with Aidan. It's nothing to do with me. It's to do with MIT. I didn't go to MIT. I would have liked to go to MIT. Um, but no, I went to... I went to the English version of Cambridge University, but Cambridge, Massachusetts, um, of course, gives us MIT. Uh, very nice. Coppersmith is the answer. OK, now let's have another look at this then. Apotheosis. Oh, that's going to be right. Apotheosis. Um, so that, that is an anagram of poses hot and AI. And a great model is an apotheosis. Um, oh, so what's this one? Producer of 80s pop. And you, I hope you've um, you're noticing that when I read this clue, I re I, I just do do not read it as producer of eighties pop covers. It, it cannot, it's not going to be that. Uh, well, I'm, I'm famous last words. It's not going to be the the name of somebody who produced nineteen eighties pop covers. In my opinion, um, I think it's going to be the name of a club. But uh, well, what sort of club? I don't know. Um, gosh, I suddenly thought of Westlife then. I, I thought, no, the, time, the Times Crossword would not have an answer that was Westlife. Um, uh, okay, let's have a look at this. Sporting cheat, turning on film. Cheat, if you cheat somebody, you do them. Cheat turning on film. A film could be a pick, P-I-C, sporting. Or, or maybe the film is E.T. So maybe, okay, so it's that, I like that idea. So maybe we need a word, a three-letter word for a cheat, a CAD. And this is going to mean sporting. I don't know. No, sorry. I'm not, not being inspired there. Eight down. Reminder for one getting demand to pay up. 
a reminder for one getting demand. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's try 12 across. Run through could be now. OK, there's a couple of things. If you run through, if, if somebody's run through, they are stabbed. So that's one possibility. Or it could mean run through as in to run, to sprint through somewhere. Or it could mean put an R in something because run can be abbreviated to R. So run through Rome's outskirts. Rome's outskirts is going to be the outskirts letters of the word Rome. So it's going to be R and E with slow vehicle. Run through. Run, run. Slow vehicle. What's a slow vehicle? A tram? A tractor? Hmm, don't know. Sorry. We were doing well for a moment, weren't we? And now I've suddenly hit a brick wall. Okay, grew more infuriated and pink. Rosy, rosy cheeked or something? Rose? Grew more. Grew. If, you, if something grew, it rose. More infuriated. So something like crosser, angrier. Madder, rose madder, that is something. Don't ask, it's some sort of plant. I don't know what it is. Rose madder, but I've heard of it. It might even be the name of the color, pink. Rose madder will be the answer there. So what is this club one then? Um, this Oh, the producer of the 80s pop as well. Uh, wham, oh goodness me, it, oh it is. I can't believe the Times crossword <laughs> it's got it's referenced wham but it has I don't I still haven't got the answer but it's it's got wham producer 80s pop covering oh West oh that's lovely West Ham well okay I mean is, is the is the name of the club West Ham or is it West Ham United I don't know um, but anyway West Ham is the club being referenced here um, which, which of course is also known as West Ham United. Um, so we've got Wham. Um, is it George Michael and Andrew Ridgely, was it? I'm probably wrong. Don't, don't, don't haul me over the the coals if I've not remembered the the name of the two members of Wham. Um, I was never a particularly big Wham fan. Um, but is abroad, I think it is. It's the French word for is in est in the middle. Okay, let's go back to this. Run through, rehearse. Oh, hearse is certainly a, clo a, a slow vehicle, isn't it? So there we go. We go so we've got RE for the outskirts of Rome and that, that's put together with the slow vehicle and to run through something is to rehearse it or practice it. So sporting cheat, um, turning on film. Diver. Well, that is something that no, uh, no, no sports fan, I think, likes to see somebody who dives. Um, but uh, anyway, a sporting cheat, diver, yes. Turning on film. Well, if something's on something, it's re it, R-E. You might see that on a memo, re, and then the title will be, you know, what the memo is about. And a film is a vid or a video. Um, so poet, I'm thinking Ovid has virus but not cold covid yeah okay covid makes its way into the times crossword so we've got covid for the virus no cold no letter c and why is c available as an abbreviation for cold well look at your taps you've probably got an eight you might have well have an h on one and a c on the other for hot and cold so is this nudge then a reminder is a nudge if you give someone a nudge you're giving them a reminder for one e.g so if you say, um, I like apples for one, you'd be saying, I like apples, for example, e.g. getting demand to pay a done. That is an old word for demand to pay. Um, and that's all reversed. It's turned up because this is a down clue. If we turn, turn it up, we reverse it. Uh, and let me just show you done while I remember. D-U-N. It's an old word, I think. Done importune for payment to plague pester or harass it doesn't say actually that it's an old word I, th I used to think it well I certainly think it is I've never used it <laughs> but anyway there we go nudge justified so now if we can get 13 down maybe fools put on suit dear dear mm. um, 
maybe fool. I wonder if that's sweetheart. Did I own sweetheart? Oh, <laughs> it's sweethearts. I love that's another clue I really like. Any clue that makes you smile deserves a tick, doesn't it? So, how does this work? Well, a gooseberry fool is a type of pudding, and a pudding is a type of a sweet. So, maybe fool is sweet, and that's put on the suit, the card suit of hearts. So, spades, hearts, diamonds, clubs, no trumps, I suppose, might be another suit. Um, and dear, dear, well, a sweetheart is a dear. If you call someone dear, they're your sweetheart. So, dear, dear is two sweethearts. So, which is why the answer is pluralized. Very, very nice. I like that. Um, 16 down. Tucking into piece of cake. A piece of cake is not going to probably be a slice of cake. It's going to, it's, it's going to be, if you refer to something as a piece of cake, it's like a cinch, isn't it? It's like easy. So tucking into piece of cake, doctor has a stroke. Oh, goodness. A stroke is a, I'm thinking of some sort of rower here. Um... Doctor. I don't know. Let's see if we can get the first, well, the last letter of the first word of this. Sombre figure heading from west from Zurich to Geneva. Okay, well, a sombre figure is a goth. And I always say there's one of these in every Times Crossword that is almost always true. So this is dog something. Uh, but if we come back to this one, uh, if you head west in the string of letters Zurich to Geneva, you can see spelt out G-O-T-H. Heading west means going that way, doesn't it? So re reversing along the clue. Spelt out is the answer to the clue. So dig, I suppose, has a stroke. Dog, it must be dog. Has a stroke. Oh, dog, dog paddle. I oh, see in England, we always think of doggy paddle. I never think of dog paddle unless it's on special occasions like when reading 16 down. So tucking into piece of cake, a doddle is a piece of cake. We've got doctor, a GP, general practitioner, has a, that's this a, and the whole thing gives us a stroke, a swimming stroke, dog paddle. Very, very nice clue again. And one thing I always sort of impress upon new solvers of the Times crossword is the importance of the fact that clues should not have anything superfluous in them. So when reading this clue, this A here in the clue, the, the clue would mean the same thing if it was tucking into a piece of cake, doctor has stroke. It wouldn't change the meaning. So why is the A there? The A is there because it's needed for the wordplay and there it is, this position here. Um, so 19 down. Kind of travel company books up European houses. Kind of travel. Kind of. Travel company books up European houses. Oh, there's a lot going on there. Uh, I don't know. It's the short answer. Old US president, not a flipping ass. Well... I don't know the answer to this, but I do I do know that an onager is a type of donkey. So I reckon that might be an ass. Old O US President Reagan. God, it is it's onager? That's very cool. So we've got O for old, and then we've got Ronald Reagan. Um which actually I've seen once before in a crossword uh context. And it was in the US crossword tournament a few years ago. I and mean, one of the answers was, it was, it was all of the answers were punning on things. And the answer was Ronald Reagan, <laughs> as in a ray gun, a science fiction thing. And that, that's always stuck in my mind. Anyway, so this is, but anyway, this is really Ronald Reagan, but not the A. So the, the first A of Ronald, of Reagan has been removed. And we flipped over what's left, which is sort of Regan to give us Onager for the arse. Oh, the ass. Um, 27 across. In fact, let me just show you that Onager is indeed a type of donkey. Oh, in fact, it says ass, wild ass of Central Asia. There we go. An ancient military engine for throwing great stones. So it's sort of a trebuchet, is it? Is that the same thing as that? 
No, well, sort of. <laughs> anyway, um, 27. Stopping, stopped removing clothing for comfort ease. It must be ceased. Okay, ceased is stopped. We remove the clothing letters of the word ceased. C and D go out. We get ease, which is comfort. So, can we do this one without reading the clue? Lake, take, take orders? Take orders, maybe? Make the priesthood have a subordinate role. Bingo. Take orders. So there we go. That's always uh, something I, 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 if I, if I'm not in, in a competition speed solving, I like to do, um, to just try, especially if you've got some good letters, just try and make your brain f think of the answer without reading the clue. And oh, Shanghai for this one, <laughs> do the same thing. Mm, this doesn't look as good, does it? Bread. Oh, Japati maybe. And some butter is a pat. Taken in chinwag with the writer, chat. I think it is. I think it is Japati. Ah, so keyboard. That's certainly bread, isn't it? So how do we read the clue then? Some butter is a pat of butter. P A T. That goes in a chat for a chinwag with the writer I. So again, the constructor is referring to themselves. Japati. Um, is going to be good there. So now let's try this one. Have we looked at this? No, small cars, estates, although they're big cars. Wasting a thousand pounds, develop gestate. Yes, okay. So so we need the, we don't need a small car here. We just need it some cars, which are estate cars. So we've got develop, which is gestate, losing its G. Well, 10 G, you might say, meaning 10 grand. Um, for a thousand pounds and then the, the small here is this s so we get estates there what's this eponym Ep no Ep eco kind of travel company books up eco oh hang on i might be about to get interrupted as well eco oh kind of travel i haven't got that yet um but i can hear that uh, there are little people about <laughs> what well, let's see if we could just fiddle to finish the puzzle quickly bath eg with taps facing the wrong way and cracks bath eg was well, a city or a spa town with taps facing the wrong way well i wonder if taps are hot and cold Chap. No, it is. It is spa town. So Bath is a spa town. That goes with the taps, the hot and the cold tap. It faces the wrong way, so we reverse it or we get chaps. And if you chap your lip, your lip cracks, doesn't it? So that's going to be right. 24 across. Captain of the West Indies, only half backed. Captain Ahab. Oh, but it is. Bahamas. Okay, the Bahamas are from the west part of the West Indies. We take only half of the word Bahamas. Oh, Oh no, okay, of the West Indies, Bahamayan. Um, I was thinking, why, why, why are Bahamas seven letters? Whereas we, we have to, you know, it's saying only half, so we need an eight letter word. So Bahamayan would be off the West Indies, cut it in half, and we get Captain Ahab from Moby Dick, of course. Um, 22 down, recalling medic for a mission. Oh, Alamo, a mission across the Atlantic. So the Battle of the Alamo. Um, recalling medic, recalling, yes, okay, if something is a la something, it reminds you of it, doesn't it? Um, so recalling a la medic, M-O, medical officer, Alimo, the mission across the Atlantic, and we're left with two more, so we need this one really, don't we? Soothsayer is going to fit. I've, the only reason I got soothsayer, by the way, is that I didn't look. I didn't look at the checking letters. I looked at Sybil. Um, um, uh, yeah, okay. I, I'm about to get. I'm about to get called something calming. Sooth, soother, maybe. Nurses, for example, for example, is say. So a soother nurses surrounds or takes care of a word for for example which is say soothsayer is a um a word for a fortune teller or a sibyl 
and uh, which, which you know, if you've watched the Harry Potter film, Sybil Trelawney is. That's why she's called Sybil. Um, now, what's this eco tour? That was going to work, isn't it? Eco tour. Now, why is this right? <laughs> kind of travel eco tour, maybe. Company co books up. Well, books is one of these dreadfully difficult uh, um, words in a crossword clue because it normally refers to books of the Bible. So it could mean the Old Testament, which I think what it means here, or the New Testament, OT or NT. And here you can see OT up. So that's reversed. So we've got COTO at the moment being given by company books up. European. Okay, European EUR. Now E can, can be European on its own. Let's just try and justify that. I think that's right. Uh, European, there we go, under E. But if we do look at EUR, we'll also find European there. So we've got EUR, nursing or uh, housing, housing, so taking care of, CO for company and the reversal of OT. And we have now finished the puzzle. Let's click submit. Uh, I don't think there was anything we were particularly Oh, a oh, mu for game warden, but it's not going to be yet. So it's, it's right. Um, but let's just now. The one thing I was very unsure about is mu. Yeah. So it's a it's the sound of a cat, but it has oh it has two other meanings. A gull. Okay, I didn't know that. So a mu mu is a word for a bird in the in the sense of a gull. So that is how four across works. Was there anything else that we need to check? Oh, let's have a look at rose madder just so that we know what that is Ro oh, rose rose not rose amanda rose madder rose madder a pale pink color made from madder pigment mm, okay what's madder pigment madder yeah so madder is a plant whose root produces a red dye there we go um picaresque we looked at goth chapati onaga we looked at ahab soothsayer coppersmith octahedra Mistress quickly, I'll, I'll allow the comments to, to tell me about which book that's from. I'm, I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess it's from Dickens. I'm going to guess it's, oh, Mistress quickly, or is it Shakespeare actually? Oh, I think it might be Shakespeare. Oh gosh, I'm just showing my ignorance. West Ham, we understood, Diver Nudge, Sweethearts, Dog Paddle. Yeah, I think, we're, I think we're there, aren't we? I think we've explained everything. So I hope that was useful. Do let me know in the comments if you enjoy these videos. Um, we're never sure. Uh, I mean, the, the YouTube algorithm certainly doesn't think they're as popular as, as the Stoku videos, but we really like doing them. Um, so if, if, if enough of you enjoy watching them, we'll certainly keep them going. Um, and yeah, we'll be back later with a normal edition of Cracking the Cryptic.